Okay, I'm going to show how to do a really quick and dirty first-person shooter kind of basic setup. And uh, all I have right here so far is a directional light. And I've got a first-person control. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. So you can just see everything from scratch. And I'm going to create something for us to run around on. So I'm going to go to uh, Game Object, Create Other Cube. And we'll just make this thing much bigger in the X and the Z so we can run around on it. And I'll make it thinner in the Y. And let's just make these numbers like 50 and 50. And if I um, change my view a little bit here by hitting my right mouse button, you can see we've got a big platform here. And since I started this, when I created this new project, um, I checked Character Control Unity package. So um, when I started the project, that gives me this character control right here in Standard Assets. There it is. Let's drag it into the scene. And uh, you always want to pull these things above the ground so they don't fall through the ground. And we can see this guy is facing this way. So why don't we make something here? Let's make a brick wall for him to knock down. So uh, actually, I'll probably change the name of this cube to floor and component or dream objects let's create another cube and this one will be let's say yeah let's go about two in the x and leave it one in the y and there's our brick and uh, let's make sure that thing is not going through the ground okay there we go right about there look at it from the x direction Bring it down so when it drops, it doesn't like uh, you know fall all over the place. And on these bricks, I want to make them all have component physics rigid body. All of them should have rigid bodies. And if I go back to my assets, I made myself a little brick material in Photoshop. Let's throw that on this thing also. So I'll just drag it and drop it right over here. So now it's part of the brick also. And. Um, I'll change the name of this thing to brick as well. So instead of cube, it'll be brick. Okay, and uh, I'll uh, put a copy of it in my prefabs. In fact, I had one already. Let's delete that. And we'll put this one in there. So it's a copy. It's good if we need it. Now we have something we can use for brick in a later game. It's a, it's a prefabricated game object. And uh, now I want to get a good view of this because I want to make a few copies. And there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm just going to show you one, uh, which is I select it. And then I hold down, I do a control D, which makes a copy of it. Then I drag it up and hold down my control key and it snaps to every single unit. And you can adjust the snaps, um, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So I'll do it again. Control D makes a duplication and drag it up and snap. Control D, drag it up and snap with the control key held down. And let's just take all these guys. I'll just grab with the shift key, I'll grab all four of them and I'll drag them to the left. Uh, well, duplicate them. Control D to duplicate them all and drag it with this arrow to the left with the control key held down. Okay, not much of a wall, but it's, it's simple. You can add more to it later if you want to. And so that wall is ready to come down. And now we're going to look at this player again from the top. And if I click on the camera or on the player, you can see, we've talked about this before, but he's made up basically of graphics and a main camera and some other stuff. So what I'm going to do is put a gun in his hand. I'm going to go to Game Object, Create Other, and make the simplest kind of gun, which is a cube. And there it is. And let's just readjust the size on that. Let's make it shape like a gun. Leave that like it is and make it a little bit longer. Look at it from the side. And we gotta change the size. Let's bring it right about there. And let's make that name weapon. And let's drag it and drop it onto the main camera. So with our first-person controller, when I play the game, we don't see, obviously, in a first-person controller, you don't see yourself or your body, but you do see your weapon here because it's on the left. Now, one of the things I don't like about this one 
is that it's uh, it's gray. I want to change the color, so I'm going to make a material for it. Right-click, create material, and I'll call this material um, green. And we'll just click up here where it says main color. Now that the material is selected, and we'll pick a green. And that's good. Close that, and we're going to go to our weapon and add the green to it. Okay, so now I have a green gun. And uh, we're going to need projectiles to shoot out of this gun. So I'm going to go to Game Object, Create Other Sphere. And I'm going to make this sphere 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 so that it's small enough to come out of this gun. And uh, I'm also on the sphere, I'm going to add a rigid body so that it'll have physics, gravity and mass and so on. And I'm going to add this color to it because I want to use that same color and save a little time. And so that sphere is basically done. So I'll uh, rename that sphere to projectile. And we'll, uh, we don't actually want this to be in the scene. We want it to be a prefab. So I'll just drag it into prefabs. And that's done. Now, on our weapon, we need another piece. I'm going to go to um, Game Object, Create Empty. I'm going to make an empty game object, and I'm going to stick it right on the end of the gun. I'm going to call it Gun Tip. Now, here it is in my hierarchy. I'm going to drag it and put it right as a child of the weapon. So when I move the weapon, it's going to move the gun tip, and the gun tip is where I'm going to tie the script that shoots out projectiles. Okay, so there won't be any kind of collision problems because that this gun or this uh, this game object doesn't have anything in it. There's nothing for collisions to nothing to confuse the projectiles and make them think they're bumping into a gun or something. So what do I need to do? Under assets, I'm going to. I've already made a script. I'm going to show you that script in uh, in what I use, which is uh, Komodo. Here's the script. Okay, and I just got this from uh, Will Goldstone in his excellent book Unity 3x Game Development Essentials. Nice, simple script. And what's going to happen is every time we hit our left mouse button, we're going to fire and it's going to shoot a rigid body um, forward of wherever we're facing and we're going to go ahead and do that with the force of 1500 units. So let's throw this on the game object. So where is the game object? Right there, there's the weapon, there's the gun tip. Let's throw the shooter script onto it and we need anything else? I think we need a light. No, we have a directional light, so let's just play. Okay, so I'm going to hit my left mouse button, nothing's happening. So let's see what's going on. Oh, see the bullet here? The script is calling for a bullet. Let's look at that. Right here, var billet, bullet rigid body. It wants a rigid body there. And what I'm going to do is take our prefabs and take projectile. And, and drag projectile into that bullet slot. And uh, now we can go ahead and save the project. And we can save the scene. Always a good idea. And we'll call this scene um, shooter one. And hit play. Okay, it looks like the uh, projectile is a little bit off. So let's look at how it's lined up from the top. And there it is over on the left. Somehow it slid over to the left. Let's move it over. Let's look at it from the side. Looks good. Save our scene again. And play. And now wherever we move our mouse, that's where we're going to be aiming. Let's just shoot. And you can see that does a pretty good job. And because we've got rigid bodies on the bullet and on the boxes, or the bricks in this case, Everything's going to react with good physics, decent physics, based on where it's hit, etc. 
So that's it in a nutshell how to do a really super simple FPS shooter.